So it was very recently announced that the government were going to carry out a campaign to try and prevent knife crime in the United Kingdom, in London and many other major cities throughout the United Kingdom. The way they were going to carry out this campaign was by having anti-knifing messages placed on chicken boxes. These chicken boxes would feature warnings about the dangers of carrying a knife and overall would have many stories and things like that about knifing and things like that. Just overall encouraging people not to go around armed with knives. That's pretty much the campaign in a nutshell. More than 321,000 boxes will replace standard packaging at outlets including Chicken Cottage, Dixie Chicken and Morley's, the Home Office has said. Real life stories of youngsters who chose positive activities over carrying a weapon are printed on the inside of the boxes. Now, the way you look at this overall campaign, will it actually prevent knifing crime? Will it prevent the rampant stabbings that are apparently statistically at record levels? I highly doubt it. Is it overall a good thing that they're doing? Yes, it's trying to send a positive message to young people not to go around armed with knives and it's well, overall going to explore the dangers of carrying knives. So ultimately, even though it may or may not work, we don't really know, I do believe that it is a good thing. But however, talking about this anti-knifing campaign that the Home Offices came out with to try and prevent the rampant knife crime that is happening all over the UK, that hasn't stopped the typical left-wing SJW politicians from coming out saying that it's racist. Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott said the plan was crude and offensive, because of course she would. However, Home Secretary Priti Patel defended the campaign accusing Miss Abbott of playing politics with knife crime. Is she really wrong? Another person who has found a way to get severely offended by this is our very own David Lammy, MP for Tottenham. He apparently wrote on Twitter, Is this some kind of a joke? Why have you chosen chicken shops? What's next? Hashtag knife free watermelons? I know, ridiculous. Dal Babu, a former chief superintendent with the Metropolitan Police, said this initiative seeks to target chicken shops because the assumption is that's where young black people go. There's a racial element to it. It stereotypes people, it's patronising, and I can understand why people see it as racist. Except, there are hardly any people that see it as racist, probably beside the people that I've just mentioned. Diane Abbott apparently tweeted, Instead of investing in a public health approach to violent crime, the Home Office has opted for yet another crude, offensive and probably expensive campaign. They would do better to invest in our communities, not demonise them. Because nothing says demonisation like telling those communities not to stab each other, am I right? Those are just a few of the individuals that are severely offended by this, but overall the way I look at it is we should not really care what they think because they see race in everything. However, moving further down the article, meanwhile, Patsy McKee, who founded Mothers Against Violence in Manchester after her son was shot dead, said sharing stories in this way was not enough to discourage young people from carrying knives. Just putting it on a box isn't going to stop it, she said. Someone who is carrying a knife to feel safe isn't going to put it down. Again, you can't really disagree with her. I don't really think that writing anti-knifing messages on chicken boxes will do an awful lot about it. Overall, I believe it does top, though, just calling anyone that does acknowledge and offers solutions to trying to prevent the knifing problem as racist, like the people we mentioned earlier have. Now, I think in a nutshell, even though I think it's in the right direction to try and prevent knife crimes, try and prevent the, the overall all the rampant crime in London and in other major cities in the United Kingdom, I do not think it will overall make too much of a significant difference. It might make some people think twice about carrying knives, but ultimately, like I said, I don't think it will completely prevent it. I think more needs to be done. Is this campaign racist? No. Despite what the SJWs and left-wing politicians will tell you, this is not racist. The left-wing anti-racists are usually the biggest racists out there. They're the biggest race baiters, they're the people that ultimately push all of this race nonsense. Most people that go into the chicken shops and order their food and they see these messages, they're not going to get offended by them. This is overall a campaign that, even though it may not work, and I don't believe it will, to be honest. It is trying to spread positivity, trying to send a positive message to youngsters, telling them not to stab each other out in the streets. 
And as we can see from what the SJW politicians have said, you know, the likes of the Diane Abbotts and the David Lammies and other left-wingers and things like that, SJWs, this is just another instance of SJWs just getting offended by something, even though there is really nothing to be offended about. They're just trying to manufacture outrage, that is all that they are essentially doing. And the last thing we should be doing is listening to them. But overall, people, be sure to let us know what you think about this down below. What are your opinions on this anti-knifing campaign that the UK government has came out with and is carrying out? Be sure to let us know what you think about this down below, alright? Alright, gentlemen, this has been Lord Flashheart. Be sure to rate, comment, favourite, share and subscribe. And I will see you again. Cheerio!